All right, welcome back. This is uh, the part two of actually me installing it. Like I said last time, I've got these uh, tow boards. I'm going to end up cutting them and sticking them down in the front part. I already went over it with the rust encapsulator, so I've got rust encapsulator all, all, all over my cross members, uh, every, everything that's exposed, and that, uh, I don't know what it's called, it's like a firewall plate or something down by your foot well. So what I'm gonna have to do is cut that, cut the, uh, cut this right along that seam. And I'm gonna have to shape it in there of what I need so I can tack weld that in. Once I get that in place and line it up to that seam across the back side of here, across the back side of here, once I get that done, then uh, I can go ahead and start putting in the actual floorboard and then going along and cutting it. So right now I'm going to start cutting this and then shaping it and figuring out what I need to do. Uh, it sucks having to cut a brand new floorboard, but it's not a whole floorboard, but still imagine buying this whole thing just for this piece right here. But I'll have extras in case 30, 40 years down the line, this is all rusted and I have to replace it again, or at least the back set. So, all right, guys, let me uh, start getting to it. All right, so I cleaned this up a little bit. Ended up doing a, uh, I believe it is approved GM factory mod. I'll clean this up a little bit later, but this piece of trim went right over top of the uh, high beam bolt and I couldn't get it out, so I and I'll clean that up, but yeah, so I, and I got that plastic piece out and it's amazing what a few tie ties will do for your bastardized wiring, ties them up and it's not so noticeable. I'm going to tear into that later, but right now I just need to get them out of the way. So I, I kind of pulled them up and um, got that plastic uh, footboard that top part that screws into your firewall got that out of the way and I've trimmed I've trimmed this down uh, and I got to trim it off again because there's just a little bit too much meat on it for right now but as soon as I trim that off I'll stick it in there and we'll see how it looks All right, well, that's that's it. I'm just going to kind of duct tape it up. Tie ties and duct tape have been working so so far, so maybe I'll just keep with it. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm getting, I'm going to cut this out. I, I need to get my stuff together here. Got to figure out where about some cutting it. And go underneath it, take a look. I see what I got going, but there's so much crap under here. I don't know what I can see. Yeah, I figured I couldn't see it, but, uh, well, maybe, maybe, just trying to get an idea where I'm at with the, uh, with the floor pan here. I tell you, I'm sure there's easier ways to do this, but I ain't rich enough to pay somebody. I actually enjoy this. I'm just messing around. All right, so it looks like the seam is lined up where the seam's supposed to be and level with uh, the bottom of this 
metal thing. I mean, I, it, it has to go down, but it's not going to go down until I trim it up and cut that, cut it out because it's kind of high rise sitting on top of it. But once it sits down, um, lined up this way, it's, it looks like it's lined up properly this way. So basically what I'm going to end up doing is having to cut go off the top and then cut like right along here, take some of this arc out of it. Um, and I'm going to make a preliminary line with that marker. And then I'm, I'm going to look at it, make a mark up on the firewall, measure down inch wise, just kind of see where I'm at with good metal. And then I can make another determination like, all right, where do I need to go? Keeping in mind, though, that it's it's elevated. So I've got a false reading up on the firewall. So, yeah, it's coming back out. And, um, well, maybe. Maybe it'll come back out. I'm just gonna, this, is, this is not a good mark. It's just a, a, a slight reference mark. So I can kind of have an idea where where it was sitting high and taking into account it's probably going to drop uh, two three inches maybe two two three two three inches so you can see i definitely want to be below the speedometer cable so i'm going to come because this is all good metal so I'm going to probably just come across here, right below that, and come around here. And I'll have to cut all that out, obviously. And they sure don't make it easy. I don't know why they didn't put this uh, kickboard panel in, in a two-piece manner, like lower and top. But what they did is they ran it all the way up along the side, under this trim, under the side trim. This panel right here, what they did is they ran it up, 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 and it's, it's under here. So to take this all off, you gotta take this loose, slide it out, it's wrapped around, it's wrapped around. It's just a pain in the butt. It would seem to me, making a mod right here, cut that, loosen it up, and slide it out. That seems to be what we. But we're going to try to do it without. Try to do it without doing a mod at first and see where I'm at. Like I said, I'm going to do a another cut. This is probably my third time I've cut. Maybe fourth time I've cut that toe panel, but it's like I said, I'd rather cut a bunch of times to get it down to the right size and get overzealous cut it. And then I still got my feet hanging through the floorboard. That ain't going to be no fun. But, all right, guys, let me uh, get back to work. Yeah. I screwed up. Welcome back, guys. It's been about four days I've sorry, since I've been on this thing. But, uh... I came out here and I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to knock some of this stuff out. I made a mess. So why I made a mess is welding in that tow board, tacking it in. And by the way, I got to be the king of doing it the hardest way. I mean, instead of like taking the pedals out or... And I got it going up there, but it's a pain in the butt to get up there. And I was thinking to myself, man, if you're going to be dumb, you better be hard. And right now, I'm trying to be hard. But what happened was I was welding, and the sparks dripped down through the opening. I had a, uh, what do you call it, one of the buckets you change oils in, oil in. And look at that right now. That's the that's the plastic that melted. I threw it out because it caught on fire. But uh, this is my fire pit. But I just ended up tossing in the uh, tossing in the bucket. 
you know, one of those freaking trays that you catch oil in. And it was sitting underneath my car with a couple of oil-soaked rags in it. Because um, I had a slow drip coming from the transmission. And guess what? Who would have thunk? Sparks and oil don't mix. But anyway, thank God I was able to catch it in time and throw the throw the oil catch can outside as it was melting apart on me. Now the the uh, garage is all smoked up. I should leave some of this thing open to get it out. But you can see right here, this is this is plastic that was dripping off the the melting as I'm swinging it all over the place. But I'm getting it packed in. It's just becoming a pain in the butt because and you know what I was really worried about catching on fire. I was worried about all that firewall matting catching on fire. So. I had a piece of metal here that I would kind of shield from it every now and then just to try to keep the sparks and heat from hitting it. Not once was I thinking about down there. Let's see if I can get a light down there. So that right there is a pile of plastic, melted plastic on a cardboard box. And I sprayed it down with... Uh, I sprayed it down. Where is it at? Good old Windex. I had Windex in here and I sprayed it down. But if I didn't have the Windex and I had to, I just didn't want to deploy it. I got a little fire be gone. I just didn't want to make a mess of everything. So, yeah, I know what you're thinking. Well, I'd rather save my garage than make a mess. Yeah, me too. But I was doing it in... Uh, I was doing like triage, so I was kind of sorting it out, figuring out what was an escalation of force. And it was the Windex was able to get it, but uh, yeah, no, and I know, I know, another bright thing of not I shouldn't be doing is welding over top of cardboard boxes. But to this point, I've gotten pretty lucky, just kind of paying attention to it, and then I stay out here a while after I'm done welding, just to make sure nothing catches on fire. But yeah, so that's where I'm at right now. Um, I had that oil catch can, and I don't know, I get partial to things sometimes. It might be the dumbest thing or the oldest thing, but I get, hey, you know, I've had that. I've got a 4x4 four four that's probably about a foot long, oil-soaked, indented, that I've had for 30-some years, and I've used it for everything from blocking tires to putting it on a jack and jacking up a car, and I get partial to it. Huh? I think I left it in the front garage. I don't think I brought it back to this back garage because I didn't want to. Yeah, I don't think I brought it back to the back garage. So now I got to go get me another oil, buy me another oil pitch can. Well, I've got, I've got a couple in the front garage. I just don't want to dig them out, so I'll just buy another one. But yeah, this is uh, where I'm at right now. Just tacking in the tow board. And then once the tow board's tacked in, I'm going to lay that down and start tacking that in. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm back the day after my little fire where I'm trying to burn the garage down. I've got, well, I already bought a new oil bucket, replaced that other one. But uh, I got the floor pan in now. And it's not all the way down. It's probably about a quarter of an inch down because it's springing off the side. But I've already pushed it down, drew a line down. I, I know exactly where I got to cut um, for the difference. And I got it all kind of lined up with the tow board and all along here. Now, where these frame rails are at, I believe the original floor pan goes between the rocker panel and the brace. I can't do that unless I take it all apart, which I'm not going to do. So what I did is I notched out um, the section of 
this floor pan right here and right here uh, just on this side because I don't need to worry about it on that side because it's going to roll up but just on this side I notched it out so it will sit down flush right now I uh, let's see how close I am it's about an eighth of an inch probably but once I once I push it down it, it goes all the way down so like I said it's just sprung up right now a couple of things that uh, I ran into, well, one thing I ran into is I got, I was able to get the seat pan holes drilled out in advance. However, this one, because I can't see it from the bottom and it kind of goes into that brace, I missed the mark on a, on a good guess. It's probably a little bit up here, but instead of just punching a bunch of holes in this thing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that be, and then when I get to further down the road when it gets to actually putting the seat in I'm going to take the seat put it in line those three holes up start bolting it down and then I'll just trace where that hole should be and it probably will help me from turning this to Swiss cheese any more than what it needs to be the rest of these holes are just the, the, gonna be the rosette welds that are gonna go across on each one of the frames um, other than that and, and those holes up there that's for tying the tow board into the or tying the floor pan into the tow board which will tie it into the uh, yeah I don't know what the name of that that, that panel is it's a heavier gauge steel that comes down off the firewall but uh, yeah so that's where I'm at right now um, I'm gonna pull this back out look at the line I just created and find out what the difference is and then trim it up a little bit more and then put it back in and try to creep up on it but yep that's where i'm at right now and uh i'll get back with you later when i have a little bit more a little more progress you'll get there getting ready to put the floor pan in uh, before I did that I put some seam sealer around the seat bolt holes not sure if it was supposed to be there or not but when I took the original floor pan off there was some kind of sealant there so I'm just going to put that in there anyway uh, you can tell that I kind of butchered it up over there at the corner I, but I'll patch that once I get the new one in All right, let's see if this sucker can get in place. It's all about finesse. And by finesse, I mean a hammer. There we go. There we go. So it's kind of, it's lining up pretty well. Just need to, uh, I'm going to snap, get, get this, uh, floor pan up against the rocker panel these little vice grips freaking so handy what the heck all right what we got going on here what kind of caddy wampus caddy wampus stuff i got going on in here well, I don't have my freaking glasses on, so I'm probably going to get some kind of rust in my eyes, I'm sure. All right, here we go. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. All right. 
Yeah, I can live with that. I can live with that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zip some uh, quarter inch uh, self tapping screws in there. You know what? Uh, part that I don't like about filming, maybe I need to figure out a better way to do it, is I get to turn off my music. <laughs> Listening to music is such a better way to freaking work. But when I'm recording, well... Nice, 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 nice. All right, man. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Nah, it's right. If it ain't right, the big hammer will make it right. in there so well earlier what did I do oh, oh shit and what I did is I just jammed a freaking metal shake in my hand hmm I think now that I'm tightening it all down doesn't want to go but We'll make it go. Don't worry. We'll make it go. I never had a problem getting something to forcefully go. So, what we're going to do here, maybe, maybe, just maybe, let me see. I use this little scribe as my depth gauge. Kind of tells me where I'm at. So, let me... Let me figure out where I'm at. I'm probably going to get my BFH. Have a BFH. See if I can pound it in place with my BFH. Now, mind you, this thing threw about half a dozen test fries was fitting but for some reason it's deciding it doesn't want to fit the way I thought it was going to fit or should I say the way it led me to believe it was going to fit now, here we go let me see if I can cinch that up get that one out of there Start cinching them up. You can sometimes walk around. Let's see. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. What we got going on here? See, I told you. Sometimes you just need to let it know who's in charge. Because. There we go. Every now and then, we'll get it. Right now, it's cinching up nice. Cinching up nice. I know I keep putting them gloves on, but it's because 
when, you, when I work with metal, my little candy ass hands keep getting cuts and slivers in it. So here you go. Hard to, hard to noise. Noise is only noise is only temporary. Kind of like pain. It's temporary. All right, we'll put this one over here. There we go. Shit. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. Don't, th don't let that fool you, because I don't. I'm just winging it. I'm just winging it. Okay. See, that's what I told you. I'm just winging it. What the? What in the Sam D? You know what I did is I went too far down on that. To a part that I had no backing. I'm on now. Come on. There we go. And let's try this again. There we go. There we go. I told you. I told you. Just got to give it a little love. There we go. Hell, I just keep screwing it. I won't even have to weld it. Yeah, then you guys wouldn't see how jacked up my welds are. I got to showcase those. You got to showcase my jacked up welds. Now, it seems that my undisciplined kid here is back talking me. Now I'm going to have to give it some more adjustment. you don't know or haven't figured it out yet I've got that vacuum cleaner going on just about every other every other every other evolution close your ears there you go there you go so we don't want anything loose have you ever wanted something loose we like it tight right Height is right. All right, man. You can. There we go. See? I told you. I told you. There's a saying. The saying is. Sometimes you're the bug, sometimes you're the windshield. Right in there, that was the bug. What the hell happened there? I don't know. All right, so you get the gist of it. It's laying in, a little bit of flexing and massaging. I got the seam, I don't know if I can, without boogering this up, bring you, in, bring you on in. Yeah, I can. So I got the seam pretty good. I'm going underneath it and I've already got holes for it so I can rosette weld it. All those holes are for rosette welding. And then I'll do the same thing uh, from the toe panel to the actual floorboard. 
I went up a little higher than uh, what I thought I was going to go only because there was some suspect metal. And uh, yeah, so I ended up really cutting nothing off of my floorboard or off my new floorboard. All the cuts, most of the cuts came off of the, the car itself. But uh, yeah, let me uh, get back to it, see if I can finagle my way through this, and then uh, I'll bring you back in once uh, I'm a little further down. All right. Welcome back, guys. Uh, it's been a long week. Had Christmas, got a new dog, so I haven't been out here as much as I needed to be. But I did get this uh, driver's side floor pan done. And uh, I laid down some seam sealer on all the welds and on all the uh, rosette welds and then the seam welds. And then I put over, uh, I let that dry and then I put, uh, put some uh, epoxy, black epoxy paint on it. So that right now it's, it's still fresh, it's still drying. But as soon as uh, that dries, I'm already gonna start on that side, cut that floor pan out. Uh, everything worked out well, got underneath it, checked out all the welds, they all came through. But I do need to clean it up a little bit underneath uh, because I did lap the side. I didn't go butt like I was originally gonna do, I was gonna butt the sides, but I lapped it just because of the metal that I was welding into, I wasn't really sure how how good it was, and I wanted a little bit extra. But the it's only about that much of a lap, so I'm going to go underneath that later, tack it in, make sure that it's good, seal it up as well, and then when I go through the underneath of it, um, I'll seal it all together with uh, rust inhibitor and then pour 15. But right now, that this whole driver side is done, the tool board's in the floor panels in and I'm uh, going to be working on this one. Probably, I'll probably the next video might, cause you're not going to want to see the same thing over there. Next video, I'm probably going to work on this front fender. That front fender, uh, I think I showed this before, has a big old rust hole right there. And it looked like somebody had previously patched it. And then when I bought the car, I bought it. They had obviously had just painted it. I didn't check for any <clears throat> Bondo or anything like that when I bought it back in 87. But as I go through this now, I'm finding all kinds of stuff. Um, and, oops, sorry about that, guys. I'm finding all kinds of stuff, and this is this was all Bondoed, and then it, obviously it's rusted through since then, and, and I've primered over top of it. I, that was 30 years ago. So when I get to it, I'm going to clear all this stuff off the hood, take that fender off. Fender's not really hanging on, but but with like one or two bolts, put it on cross, um, and then start working on a patch panel for that. But yeah, that's where I'm at right now with this side. Uh, it's all all done on this side, and I'm going to work on that side. And like I said, I'm not going to film that side. So. Thanks a lot for sticking around and watching it. It's, uh, like I said, this last two weeks have been a little slow due to getting a new German Shepherd puppy. Took, took a few days for me to hang out with it and just kind of get into a rhythm of it, going to the bathroom and all that stuff and getting it acclimated to the new home. And then with Christmas, uh, I didn't come out here much. I tried to bounce out here for an hour here and there, but not much to do anything to to be worthy of filming. But uh, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, until the next video, I appreciate you guys hanging out.